Again, I, sorry, need a haircut? I realize it. I got a, I got a letter actually from someone saying, hey, you need a haircut. <clears throat> or they said, you need to comb your hair better. I wanted the two. And they said, it even said, I know that this is a weird thing to say, but here's what I got to say. So here's what I got to say. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is The Censure Presents. So, ah, I've been reflecting a lot on purgatory lately. And we have videos on purgatory and there's teachings that abound about why Catholics believe in purgatory. Um, but I wanna ask, highlight one aspect of, of purgatory that I think is just, again, it keeps coming back to me because it's, it's one of the ways in which we live purgatory now. In fact, here's what we believe. We believe that it's through the Lord's life, death, and resurrection, he's giving us his Holy Spirit that we can have life, that we have access to the Father. It's just this incredible gift that none of us could earn or deserve. And God gives us everything we possibly could ever need to be prepared at the moment of our death to step into his presence in, in humility, in love, in joy, um, completely prepared to, to love him as best as he can be loved, as, 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 we can as much as we could possibly love him. So he gives us every grace, he gives us every opportunity in this life so that we could actually, at the moment of our death, enter into heaven. The hard news is very few of us actually love God like that. Very few of us use the grace that's given to us to let the Lord change our hearts, right? And so God in his mercy and his love for us, he's given us this thing, this state, this place called purgatory. And what is purgatory? Purgatory, in some ways I just say it, it it's the place or it's the process by which we learn how to love God the way we're meant to love God. Because we, I know this about myself. I don't love God the way he, I should. I don't love God the way he deserves to be loved. In fact, I love his creatures sometimes more than him. Than him. I love his gifts more than I love God himself. But how could I possibly be happy in heaven if I love God's gifts but don't love him when heaven is God himself? And so what God gives us is this place, purgatory, to give us the hearts that we're supposed to have, right? To help us love the way we're supposed to love. Now, here's the crazy thing. That means that everything that happens to us in purgatory is oriented towards that. Everything that happens to us in purgatory is oriented towards helping us becoming the people we're called to be, the people we're supposed to be. So it's one of those situations of it's pure joy, why? Because every pain of purgatory, every discomfort of purgatory, every suffering of purgatory, you know, like, yeah, but this is being used. Like, this is all being oriented towards me becoming completely ready to step into the God's presence. And I just think, like, what, what, what a joy it would be to have that absolute and deep conviction. God, whatever you need to do, do it. Because here we are in purgatory, I know everything I go through here is just getting me closer to you. That's purgatory a place of joy, even if it's a place of pain. Now here's the crazy thing. I said crazy, I think five times already now, but here's the crazy thing. Purgatory is like plan B here. Plan A is that we become those kind of people in this life by God's grace. Plan A is that God uses everything that happens to us in this life to help us become the people that are ready to be with him in the next life. What if you got out of bed tomorrow with that absolute conviction, just like in pur the purgatory conviction? Like in purgatory, I don't care what happens to me because I know everything here is being used. It all will help me become the kind of person who can step into God's presence. That's what this world is. What if we got out of bed with that mentality that says, God, whatever you bring to me today, I know you can use. Whatever I go through today, I know you will be used. Whatever suffering I endure, whatever discomfort, whatever interruption, whatever pain, whatever joy you allow me to go through, God, you can, you'll, you'll use it if I let you. In fact, there's this quote that I came across. It just, ah, it really struck my heart and it said this. It said, if they could realize the merit concealed in the actions of each moment of the day, if they could realize the merit contained, concealed in the actions of each moment of the day, I mean, in the course of the daily duties of their state in life, they would indeed be happy. If they would know the, the merits contained in each moment of the day, basically, you'd be able to walk through this world with so much joy because you realize, God, all of this, all of this you're using, you can use if I give it to you. God, all of this, um, I mean, think about what's stressing you out right now. Think about what's grieving your heart right now. 
Think about uh, the interruption that you just are, it's grating on you right now. To be able to say, okay, God, use this. Let this change my heart to become a heart that can love you the way you deserve. That would be, in every moment of the day, that would radically transform the way we lived, the way we, we loved, the way we prayed, and definitely the way we saw what this world is all about. A gift from God every second of every moment of every day helping us become the kind of people who can love God the way he deserves to be loved. So then, yeah, you can skip purgatory because by God's grace, he gives us everything that we need to get close to him in this life or if you make it in purgatory. Anyways, that's what I got for today. From all of us here to Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless. And yet, I need a haircut. I get it. Whatever.